Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Thursday, June 20th, 2019. The main impacts coming for the next couple of days include some strong wind gusts moving into the Great Basin today, followed by a pretty strong cold front for the time of year, bringing some showers and even high elevation snow to the mountains of Idaho and mainly Utah. The past 24 hours were warm and dry region-wide with no uh, precipitation or lightning. We're continuing to see some initial attack pop up across the Great Basin, but most of these fires are still remaining small. Precipitation for the past couple of weeks has been fairly light with a few showers popping up here and there, but certainly nothing compared to uh, the significant precipitation that we had uh, previous to that at the end of May with the past 30 days shown in the image on the right. Current ERCs are mostly below the 50th percentile with a few of those stations in the west popping up to the fifth between the 50th and the 69th percentile. This upward trend that we're seeing region-wide will change as this cold front moves through over the next a couple of ERC charts are shown here. We have a few stations that are near normal for the time of year, but the large majority of the stations are below normal for the time of year and in some cases well below normal. Sagebrush live field moistures are shown here for a couple of sites throughout the geographic area. Most sagebrush sample sites are above normal for the time of year, um, in some cases much above normal and in some cases close to normal. This morning's satellite imagery is showing that low pressure system uh, kind of hanging out right there over the Canada-US border. It's going to be dropping south over the next couple of days and bringing a pretty good drop in temperatures to the region as well as some um, precipitation to mainly the mountains of Idaho, Wyoming, and Utah. We'll begin to see impacts from that low moving in today with showers coming to the mountains of central Idaho and possibly even Wyoming and uh, portions of central Utah uh, with strong gusts area-wide and some cooler temperatures across the north. Here we're seeing that high elevation snow is possible over the central Idaho mountains and western Wyoming. And the strong wind gusts on the right are shown here with gusts up to 60, 65 miles an hour possible, uh, those areas shaded in brown. The low drops further south on Friday, bringing cool temperatures region-wide and uh, bringing a better chance for some high elevation snow uh, further south in the Great Basin, Utah uh, in particular. So we'll see uh, some of those high elevation showers move into Utah tomorrow and continue across the north uh, while Nevada stays generally dry. Winds will lighten up across much of the area tomorrow with the exception of some winds around the backside over western Nevada and then continuing ahead of, the, ahead of that low in southeast Utah. On Saturday, the low begins to track off to the east, but we'll still see cooler temperatures region-wide and a continuation of some of those high elevation uh, isolated to scattered snow showers there at the highest elevations um, with some chances for isolated showers uh, at the lower elevations in eastern Idaho, Wy Wyoming, and central and eastern Utah uh, and continued cooler temperatures on Saturday. Three-day precip totals are shown here. High elevations of central Idaho, Wyoming, and much of central and eastern Utah. And Nevada stays dry on this one. By Sunday and into the first part of next week, um, there's another low pressure moving into the Pacific Northwest. Uh, we may see some moisture return to central Idaho ahead of that system, but drying returns to the southern Great Basin. Dry southwest flow continues into Tuesday of next week ahead of that next trough could see wind speeds pick up once again uh, by midweek as that low uh, starts to move eastward. Seven day precip totals are shown here. Really we're just looking for precipitation in the short term uh, today through Saturday. The extended forecast from the Climate Prediction Center for June 27th through the July 3rd uh, changes up our forecast just a bit with below normal precipitation expected over Utah. I suspect this is uh, generally when we'd start to see the monsoon beginning, uh, certainly across the southwest U.S. And it looks like uh, the forecast here is that the monsoon is not starting when we would expect it to. And so we'll be below normal, looking for below normal precipitation. Uh, below normal temperatures are also expected for much of the geographic area and above normal precip over Idaho as we continue to see some low pressure systems moving across the northwest. 
This concludes today's Fire Potential Briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.